I am Dr. Chandrika Shekhar, working as an obstetrician and gynecologist in Chirag Hospital, Bangalore, JP Nagar, second phase. I also do a visiting consultation at Malti Manipal Hospital, 9th block, Jainagar, Apollo Cradle Hospital, 5th block, Jainagar, and as also Motherhood Hospital, Banshankri, second stage. Well, fetal kick in pregnancy, when will the baby move? See, this is a very important question for the general public. See, most of the young girls who become pregnant, they'll think that when they become pregnant, they have to know the baby movement. That is not true. The baby has to reach some stage by which time you will know the baby's movement. So when will you know the baby's movement? What will happen when they're just pregnant? The baby's few cells, that's all. So that time it cannot kick or it cannot move and you will not be able to make out the movements. So that is one thing you have to realize. And as it grows, it develops its limbs, it develops its structure, it develops its physical form and then it will have the ability to move. And when it moves also, if it is very small, we cannot move out the moments. It will reach one stage after which only you can make out the moments. That is usually between 16 to 20 weeks. That is between 4 and 5 months. That is the time when the mother is able to make out the movements of the baby. And uh, 5 months, matlab, one person who has become pregnant for the first time, she may take more days. And person who are experienced in pregnancy, that is, it may be second pregnancy, it may be third pregnancy, etc., etc. So depending on that also, the movements is felt. See, people who are having repeated pregnancy, they may be able to realize the movement of the baby earlier than the person who has become pregnant for the first time. So you should never worry when your baby has not moved. Only after your fifth month scan is over, that time pakka you will be able to make out the movement. That is one thing. And second thing is, because you don't know how the feeling of the fetal movements will be, that is also one reason because of which you will not be making out the movements. So, making out fetal movements and fetal kick, that is, it will happen positively at fifth month or after fifth month. So, in some very rare cases, so many patients, they come to me, they tell at third month only, ma'am, I am able to make out the fetal movements. That is wrong. Most probably, 99% it will not be fetal movements. It will be some other movements which they presume is fetal movements. The commonest thing that they think is anything happening inside the abdomen. The commonest thing is our intestines. It is so many meters that's intestines inside. And intestines are always moving. So that intestinal movements also they may be able to perceive and they may presume it as fetal movements. So that is not the fetal movement. So fetal movements happens always between 4 to 5 months. And one more thing is kick count. Kick count is the amount of kicks that the patient counts. That is uh, the way the patients will know, oh, my baby is alright, it is alive and it is kicking. That is the reason we tell the patients to count the fetal counts. I don't tell routinely for all my patients to count the fetal movements because perceiving fetal movements may differ from one person to another and unnecessarily they will become more tense. So there is no need to tell that one. But generally when they ask and when we feel there is risk in that particular patient, so for them we tell to count the fetal movements. So how to count the fetal kicks? For counting the fetal kicks also, there is particular position, particular state of mind from which you can count the fetal movements. See, for example, you are very busy, whole morning you are running around here and there, here and there. So that is the time you cannot make out the fetal movements. So most of the patients, they tell, ma'am, I am going to be able to make out the fetal movements only when I sleep. That is, the reason is they are very busy in the daytime, so they cannot make out. And so once they go to bed, that time they have time and perseverance to observe the fetal movements. That is the reason. So we have to tell them to sit in a particular position or relax in a particular position before they count. So most important is just sit relaxedly or lie down relaxedly then start counting. That time you will be able to concentrate on your fetal movements. It is also like meditation item. So you just concentrate on that and then you will be able to make out the movements. And if you count how many kicks do, so suppose in 6 hours about 8 to 10 kicks we should hear. See when the baby, full baby is there. Any part of the baby moving can be felt. So it, depending on which part of the baby's limbs or uh, legs or head or it is just uh, rotating inside. So depending on what moment it is doing, it is felt. See rolling of the baby or real kicking from the legs. So depending on which part is moving, the intensity of the kick will be different. So when we tell kick count, we can uh, tell anything. Any moment that happens is counted as fetal movement. So kick count is not that only kick from the legs. So that much must be important. So you have to concentrate on the movements and then you have to count. Because if you don't realize, then you may give a lesser count and you will think something is wrong with your baby. So that is the importance of fetal kick count in pregnancy.